Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple but effective Wi-Fi DAFU. And what a Wi-Fi DAFU is, is a device that disconnects someone from the network and prevents them from joining. So it's a good joke to pull on your friends. But of course, I have to say this at the beginning of all the videos like this. Don't do this to do stuff that is illegal in your country or area. Because if I don't say this, one, one of the people who watch this is going to do something illegal and then try to blame me. So, yeah, obviously don't do anything illegal with this, and, yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. So, these are the two Wi-Fi ID offers I made. One is just a black box right here, as you can see. There's a little chip. It's a Node MCU. Link in the description for this chip that I bought. But, yeah, I 3D printed a case. It's a rough 3D print. Open it up. There's the top of the board, like if I opened it. And there's a little plug. And then I tested out a little hidden one in a Tic Tac container. And I printed out a picture of a jumbo tic tac for some reason. You open it up, and I had to carve it out a little bit. But as you can see, the board is in now. If I could take this off, I had to carve it a little bit. But yeah, there's the board. It looks pretty cool. Put foam around it so when the light's gone, it doesn't completely light up the container. So yeah, those are a couple basic ones that you can make. You don't have to have a case on it. I just like it because it looks pretty cool. So all you're going to need for this project is. What are mandatory is the board, a laptop with Windows, like Windows 7, 8, or 10. I don't know about if it works on any other ones. You just have to test it out. A few programs, and then probably 5 or 10 minutes of your time. So yeah, before I start this video on explaining how to do it all, I want to show you guys how to use it, and so you can see if it's something that interests you on making. So yeah, all you're going to need is a plug this is a micro S. I mean, oh my gosh, not a micro SD card. A micro USB that's plugged into my wall outlet right there. But you can also plug this into rechargeable batteries. A lot of the time, what I do is it looks, it looks a lot more clean and mobile. So yeah, there's a little plug right there. Plug it in like you would anything else. As you can see, a little light just blinked. And I have this little test phone. You can slide up. All you gotta do is go to settings, connections. Find your Wi-Fi, turn on your Wi-Fi, and it will be called PWNED. Now, there is a password on this network, but I don't remember at the moment, so I'll put it down in the description on what the password and what the code is to enter and everything. But, yeah, that's how you connect to it. Now, you are connected to this chip. This chip is connected to UBS. This has a Wi-Fi um, chip that allows you, well, it's a Wi-Fi chip on the chip, I guess, and it, and it puts out a Wi-Fi network that you connect to, as you can see, no internet connection, because it's not, you know, and it's not providing internet, it's just providing the, um, signals, so yeah, and then all you gotta do is go down to your internet, this works in Safari, Google, everything else, now it logs you on to heal, here's the IP address that you have to go to, again, in the description, and that will basically, connect into this. As you can see, it's saying timed out because I tested this out before I did it just so I remembered how to do it. Now, there's a few different attacks. Here's a little ball. Scan, SSIDs, which I'll go over in a minute, attacks and settings. All you're going to really need to worry about is SSIDs and attacks. If you go over to attacks, you will see all of these. D off is, um, what you'll do is you'll press, in order to do a D off, you'll press scan. And you'll go over here and you'll scan for, go down here, and then you'll press, where's the button? Oh yeah, you press scan, oh, scan APS, and then it'll come down of all, like, the Wi-Fi networks down here. You'll select one, or you can select all if you really wanted to. Go over to attacks, and then press start, and it'll deauthorize everyone off that network, but... I haven't made a mess of that, so you might want to watch a more in-depth tutorial on YouTube. You can find them. They're pretty easy to find. And then Beacon is the one I like to mess with. This is basically providing a bunch of fake Wi-Fi networks. All you have to do to do this one is go over to where it says SSIDs. And then go down here. As you can see, it's on random. But just for the ability for me to show you this, I'll press remove all. There you go. I'll remove all of these. Now, SSIDs are pretty cool. Now, if you want to do a custom one, you can go up here and just type in, like, let's say if I want to type in subscribe, so I'll type in subscribe. 
Okay, as you can see, it says subscribe up there. Just tap out of it, get rid of your keyboard. Give it a that. I don't know. I accidentally clicked on it. Select however, however many you want. So let's say I want, uh, let's say if I want 100. Depending on what kind of phone it is, it might only block out at 10, but this will produce 100 fake Wi Fi networks. But depending on what kind of phone, that's depending on how it works. Anyway, press add. As you can see, there's a bunch of things saying subscribe. And then go over to attacks. And then press start. As you can see, a light blinks red on there and continues to be red. That means it's working. Go into your settings. Go into Wi Fi on any phone you want to test this on. And then wait for it to scan a little bit. Boom. Here's a bunch of subscribes. And it'll continue to load depending on what phone you have. Like mine kind of caps out, but it'll all show as the Wi Fi networks. But when you try to connect to it, it'll say you can't connect or you don't have authorization. So that's a, it's a cool little trick to do. It's really fun to mess with your friends on. You can also go back onto this and then go over to SSIDs and then just press enable random mode, which will just make extraordinarily long and annoying text come over here stop it give it a second restart it go into your internet give it a minute to reload and here's just a bunch of random strings of text that are all either locked or unlocked so if you press locked it'll ask you for the password which you type in anything it won't even work as you see more disloaded Click the unlocked one, and it would just say you don't have permission. But that was a quick seven-minute thing. Oh, my God, they're still loading. Yeah, this continues to load them, too, so we can just disconnect from that. But that was a quick seven-minute tutorial on exactly what that does. Sorry that I made it so long. There's just a lot to show you. So, yeah, now I'm going to go to the computer, show you exactly how to set this all up. It's very self-explanatory. And then I'll show you the program. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back at my computer. Here we are at my desktop computer. I am running Windows 10, but as I said before, it should work with Windows 7, Windows 8, all those kind of Windows. It's not the really old ones because certain programs don't run on it. But anyway, here we are. These are the programs you're going to need. I have links down in the description. You're going to need the bin file, which is what's going to be downloaded onto your little chip and then the flash which allows you to download this onto the chip so yeah again links in the description but anyway let's get into it at this time you're going to want to plug your uh, little chip that you have you're going to want to plug the micro charging cord into the chip and into your computer so it's like how you would plug in a usb cord i mean a usb but it's a cord so yeah now that you have that all plugged in you're going to want to go in here, go to 64, release, and then double click on this, the exe file. But since I already have it open, to show you all the settings, here I am. I mean, here it is. So you're going to start out at this page, just ignore this for a minute. You're going to want to go over to config, click the little gear, and then, like, let's say if you have a little bin folder on your desktop, go to your desktop, find the folder that you have it in. And then here it is, it should just be DR for 2.1 or whatever version, there might be an updated version by the time this video comes out. Double click, here it is, make sure there's a little X next to here. So, yep, so that's, that's about the hardest part about this tutorial. Go over to advanced, make sure that all your settings match to all this. So 230400, 4M byte, flash size. And then the flash speed should be 80 megahertz, and SPI mode should be DIO. So yeah, makes that all about that's all the correct ones. And then go over to operation. Now this is where you're gonna wanna. This is gonna be a little bit of like a trial and error type thing. When you press this drop down right now, I don't have my thing plugged in since I don't need it because I already have them all flashed. But there might be multiple. So when you plug it in, there will be COM one and then. Maybe depending on what kind of computer you have, there'll be other ones. Now, if there's like COM1 and then COM9, you're going to want to click 9 before you click 1 because it's more likely 9. But if you flash it and then it doesn't work, 
let's click through all the different like calm ones through calm nines or whatever until it flashes your little chip now once you have that selected you're gonna want to click flash and then it'll have a little barcode right here for like the mac address and sta mac and then it'll have a little uh, ball this should take about a half a minute to a minute depending on fa how fast your computer is to flash once that's done that's about it that's the hardest part about this entire thing so yeah if you liked the video please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one yeah.